Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, today we are going to look at a way of uh, a, an easy way for a student to attempt any given physics problem. I say how to attempt any phys given physics problem. There are so many steps we follow when a student wanted to solve a physics problem. We know physics is with always is always with mathematics. There is no way you can solve a physics problem with, without using mathematical steps. Fine. If we know that, then definitely we should have think of these steps always, and it will guide us while solving physics problem. Step number one. Uh, write your data given. Step number one. When a physics problem is given, write your data given, underline it. When I say data given, I can say O oh, solution. O oh, solution. Then we underline it after the problem. Step number two. Write known and unknown values. Step two is speak out the known and unknown values. After picking out of known and unknown values, a reasonable student will think of the formula. And if that problem has a formula, by writing the unknown and unknown, it will make it easy for you to think of the formula related to those values you pick out from the problem. Why? Because, for instance, if A is given as 2, B is given as 3, C is unknown, you pick all this out from the problem given to you. Then you know there is a formula that says A equals to B, C. This will make it easy for a student to think, ah, since I have A, I have B, I have C, I know the formula that connect, combine all these three things. That is A, B, and C. But a good student will realize if there is a formula again that say A equals to C and D, it's not possible for him to use that formula because from known and unknown values, there is no D unless if that D is another formula that connects for instance, B and A. Take note of this. That means says he can still first find B, D. If B and A is given, then you substitute value of C. You're given after finding the C, then you substitute value of B and A. What I mean here is that for a student to find to use a formula that is A equals to C D, it's not possible on this case unless. If that D, there are some values, it is a formula, it has a formula that from the given value, you can easily find it and still find your real A equals to B and C. We'll understand it when we come to the problems. I just want you to know that after writing the known and unknown values, it will be easier for a student to remember the exact formula that is applicable to that problem. Fine. Then we say, write the formula. If any, if there is a formula, you write the formula. After writing the formula, then we say, substitute the given values. After writing the formula, then we substitute the given values. After substituting the given values, then number five, make unknown the subject of the formula if needed. If needed. Then step five, you make the unknown value the formula, the subject of the formula, if needed. Why? Because some of the questions, that unknown value is already the subject of the formula. 
But in the case of you realize that unknown value is not the subject of the formula. You use mathematical criteria and make that unknown formula value to be the subject of the formula. Then number six, calculate and attach your answer with S I unit if available. If available. Then step six. Step six calculate and attach your answer with the S I unit if needed. Any problem given in physics. If a student follow these things, write your data given, pick out the known and unknown values, write the formula if any. Make unknown subject of the formula if needed, else leave it if it is the subject of the formula. Calculate and attach your answer with SI unit if available. If it doesn't have SI unit, just leave it like that. Just calculate and find your answer. I believe these steps will help a lot of students in calculating or attempting a problem in physics. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click on the alarm, click on a ring bell so that you will really be getting all my videos. If you have any comment, drop your comment. Thank you. I will see you again. Thank you.